Hello, hello, hello. I'm Chris Erickson. Hello, 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 my fellow Vermonters. I'm Chris Erickson. You can give me a write-in vote for United States Senator. Now today, my question is, why marijuana rather than an over-the-counter painkiller like ibuprofen? Like, you know, just your over-the-counter, plain old, common ibuprofen. Why, why is marijuana cannabis a better painkiller? Why is marijuana cannabis better, you know, to help you sleep at night, to get rid of your pain, to get rid of your arthritis? So what's the difference? So I looked up the ingredients. It says, you know, peel off the label on the side here and look at the ingredients and whoops. Where the heck are they hiding? They do a good job of hiding them. Look back, peel back here. Heck, I peeled the whole thing off. And they're stuck together. They're, they're stuck together. I can't even find the ingredients. Shirts. Peel back here. What a mess. What a mess trying to find the ingredients. Whoops. Here they are. Finally got the ingredients for ibuprofen. Okay, this is just your standard over-the-counter ibuprofen. And it contains... The in inactive ingredients. I really don't want you to know what's in it. The so-called inactive ingredients other than the ibuprofen are colloidal silicon dioxide, iron oxide red, mace, starch, polyethylene, glycol, Povodon K30, pre-gelatinized starch, sodium starch, glycolate, stearic acid, talc, and titanium dioxide. Now, let's look up a few of these ingredients and see if ibuprofen is safer than cannabis marijuana. Which one is safer, cannabis marijuana or ibuprofen? Let's see what's in the ibuprofen. Let's see, ibuprofen... Ingredients include colloidal silicon dioxide. The side effects include possible silicosis lung disease or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Polyethylene glycol. Side effects include flatulence, nausea, stomach cramps, diarrhea, swollen abdomen, and rectal hemorrhage. Pre-gelatinized starch. Side effects include hives. Difficulty breathing, swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat, gluten intolerance, abdominal pain, diarrhea, or gas. Titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide nanoparticles can accumulate in the body, break DNA strands, and cause chromosomal damage. It's time to move cannabis marijuana from Schedule 1 to Schedule 3, of the Federal Controlled Substances Act. Please give me, Chris Erickson, a write-in vote for United States Senator. Again, my name is Chris Erickson, and I want you to send me down to Washington, D.C. Let's make marijuana legal, and we can also call it cannabis. Call it cannabis, call it marijuana, call it whatever you want, let's make it legal. Thank you, vote for me. <laughs> Chris Erickson, give me a write-in vote for the United States Senator. Thank you.